a good day for cleaning out storage units for pure profit. Clean it up a little bit. I think we can get 10 bucks out of this thing. Whoa. What's in it? This is a brand new Dremel, Ellie. I might keep that and let it go hey, towards my... Hey, don't talk like that. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> You know, what, what is this guy? Well, you know, I'm sure he's figuring, what the hell, you know? Uh, why would this guy come and pick up a pile of junk? Well, because I make tens of thousands of dollars doing it over the course of time. Helium. I got helium. You want to try some? No. Come on, Ellie. Nope. Hmm. Interesting. No, it's not a projector. It's one of those, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm sorry, one of those what? <laughs> You want to go hunting lions and tigers and bears? Wow. That looks dangerous there. Yeah, it's another specialty tool, man. I don't I don't know. You guys know what it is? Hmm. Looks like uh, some more Nikes. These are Jordans. Those look good. excited about it, honey? I am thrilled. Oh, thrilled to death. Thrilled to death. I can tell. I can tell. I right, well, listen. Hey, so, yeah, what are we doing here? We're going out and picking up stuff, man. We're, we're, we're doing it for pure profit. This is episode five, cleaning out storage units for pure profit. Uh, this part of the series where we, you know, we, we basically have this situation, man, that we've carved out for ourselves and doing it for years where the, hey, you know what? They need stuff moved out, right? People have abandoned this stuff. They literally are saying, I don't want it. You can have it. I don't want to deal with it, which isn't exactly what they, you know, it's not their game, man. You know, so, so they, now here I am. Now I enter the scene, right? And I want it. <laughs> I always want it, right? And they're fine with getting rid of it. They need their space back. You know, they're trying to rent real estate. We've talked about this. So, so anyway, they call me, man. And, and it happens around the first of the month. You know, they, at the end of the month, they do their, they uh, they do all their checks and balances, whatever they do, and, and and you know, then right around the first of the month, they have all these different units that people have abandoned, right? So this is how it usually goes: we get a big surge of it right at the first of the month, and then it just randomly comes through here and there. But we have this new connection today too, and I'm not sure how that's going to all play out. I really don't have a clue because I've been talking to him. I talked to him, and we're going to go out there. We're going to take care of him. But uh, he, he's not used to us. He, we don't know each other really, you know. We don't know each other at all. And um, so he's like, you know, what, what is this guy? Well, you know, I'm sure he's figuring, what the hell, you know. Uh, why would this guy come and pick up a pile of junk? Well, because I make tens of thousands of dollars doing it over the course of time. We'll see. We'll see what happens. He's talking like there's some beds and there's this, this brand new door. And he may have which will definitely be a future episode. He said something about he may have a 10 by 25 that he might let go of, and I don't know. But anyway, let's jump right into it, man. See what we get. Here it is, the 1st of September, so this stuff just keeps rolling in on us. They're calling left and right. I think she said one of them has beds. Maybe it was a different place. <laughs> Ellie. We're going to make some money on this one, baby. <laughs> Look at this. I mean, we are rolling. We are rolling today, babe. The bag's actually not that nice, is it? Look at it. It's all oh, ripped yeah. up. Oh, yeah. Wow. All right, whatever. Easy. Could be something in the bottom. Oh, we got this uh, wardrobe from 1977. You should try them on, Ellie. I mean, I think you'd look good in them. I am not. go to the golf course this afternoon and... Hmm. The boy worked at Toyota. I'll send that to uh, James. He'd appreciate it, I'm sure. All right, this is where the big money is. It's, a, it's actually heavy, Ellie. Not heavy, but you know. It's got something in it. This is where the big money is, Ellie. You excited? I'm excited. I wish you'd keep your enthusiasm in check, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Ellie, it's not, very good. not a very good table here, Al. Mm -mm. Oh, what do you got in here, Ellie? Oh, can you see what's going on, Ellie? I can see. The free whopper right there. All right, here we go. What the hell? Is that a projector? 
I might be an old school projector. Hmm. Interesting. No, it's not a projector. It's one of those. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what. I'm sorry. One of those what? <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know what it seems like? It seems like it's one of those like things that I had when I was in school back in the '80s. Like it is a projector, but mm -hmm. not the style. Like not the one you you're thinking of. It. It's like there's cards, and then they can. Just rotate it. I don't know, man. We'll have to look it up. How about that? Why don't we look it up? There's got to be some kind of... I mean, we got this embosser. Whatever on here. Mm -hmm. It's all brand new in the box. Yeah. There's your money. Yeah, well. Maybe for some old nostalgia, boy. We'll, we'll find out. And who knows? Maybe it's a $50 bill. Mm-hmm. All right, Ellie, here we are. What are we getting here? Man, I'll tell you what, it wouldn't hurt my feelings if we had another small little thing. It's a little five by. I knew she said that there was a bed in here. What's the quality look like, Elle? Is that a cover on it? Looks like a mattress cover. It's a cover on it. I'm gonna back up a little bit so I can get the full effect. That's a foam mattress. Oh. Mm. Man, I've certainly seen better, Ellie. I've, I've certainly seen worse. You know, my thing is... Is it a queen? Because we've got mattress covers. That is a queen. So I was I was dead wrong, guys. Look, this thing, look at this thing. Yeah, it's clearly not a projector. Uh, it's some sort of, you emboss business cards or letters, head. I, I, I don't even know. I haven't looked into it that, that much. I was, Ellie Mae was looking it up on the ride over here to this next one that we're about to dig into. And uh, I tell you, man, we'll, we'll look at this one too. Th that one, uh, I, I don't think that's the one we have. That one does dog tags or whatever, but 800 bucks? I mean, that would be awesome. But even the 275 one, hey, I'm stoked about it, man. That one's probably gonna have to go on eBay. I don't think we're gonna get it locally. All right, let's see what we get in this next one. Ellie, holy cow, I know you're out here cooking, man. Did a good job setting all this up. I was fooling with Facebook, answering a hundred questions. All right, let's, here we are. We're at the next location. This is the second one of the day. Let's see what's in this thing. Oh. <laughs> Man, she did say something about a safe. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was hoping for gold. I don't suppose that's going to happen. You didn't honestly think I they weren't going to take nah, I mean, you know. Yeah. Whatever. I was hoping it was locked. Yeah. That's what I was hoping, and I was going to have to crack it. This is cool. But uh, tell you what, man, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not mad at them at all. There's tools, wheelbarrow. I mean, there's a little bit of junk around, but who cares? There's tool mm -hmm. boxes. Let's dig in. See what we get here, Ellie. There's a very manly smell in here. You know, like. Hmm. Excited? Not from that smell. Oh. <laughs> Check this out, man. Oh, wheelbarrow here. Oh, there's a trickle charger. Yeah, let's get this whole thing right here pulled out of the sunlight so we can see. But I tell you, this, this wheelbarrow alone, this wheelbarrow alone is going to be money. Landscape or tough? Look at this. We got this hitch right here. I'll tell you right now, these hitches, man. <laughs> you go have one installed, bought, and installed, you're going to spend three, four, five hundred dollars, depending on what you got. This hitch alone, I know I can get 50 bucks for it. Oh, there you go. That's a good start, Ellie. Mm hmm. Why don't we just leave everything in the wheelbarrow or put it back in there? Yeah, I'm just getting that out of the way so that yeah. we can see. I'm going to try to come closer, there. but... Look at that. Oh, that's a wow. cool bar right there, girl. Mm -hmm. All right, we got the trickle charger I talked about. Hey, there's a gun, gun cleaning kit. That's cool. Yeah. Man, there's going to be money all over the place. Look at these drills. Yeah, there's an extension cord with a four-way on that's it. That's cool. You should... Oh, yeah, this one's going to be loaded. This is... Here's another... Here's another hitch. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. And it's got the pin. I mean, cut the lock off, man. 
shoot, yeah, dude. That's a five dollar bill. Thing's mm -hmm. brand new, man. Looks good. Well, not brand brand new, but it's a good one. I mean, there's money coming out left and right, man. We love tools. Tools sell. I mean, we we can't hold on to them. We cannot hold on to them. So I'm pretty stoked about it, man. Let's keep digging in. What else we got, Ellie? Look at here. There's money laying all over the floor. There's a red one. Huh. Yeah, it's canes. Yeah, that, that's a minimum five dollar bill. Mm-hmm. Look at these canes. Some little boy carved that. That's cool. Huh. I wonder, yeah, that thing moves. Hmm. That's a cool little cane, man. Believe it or not, there's a market for canes. Yeah. There really is. I've sold some canes, some hand carved ones. I've sold some as high as $25. And they go for a lot more money than that. It's cool. It's old school. Yeah. It's homemade, looks like. I love it. Let's Very nice. There. Okay. A monkey wrench. That's a big monkey wrench. Yeah, that's a five dollar bill, man. We're pulling out five dollar bills left and right. Pipe joint. Brush. Out little seat clamp. Those are nice. They sell fast. That's a glass cutter. Huh. Something like that. I mean, there's just, I mean, you know, it's just a bunch of stuff. Vice grips. All right. And you got the box alone, which is absolutely adorable. That box I can get $5 mm -hmm. for. Yeah. Uh, this box, I think this box being metal like it is, I think that's a $10 bill. Ah, we got drills. And it looks like that one's been around the block. Let's see if she works or not. That's another drill in there. It's in there, too. Hmm. That's not going to get excited about it. There's a Makita. It's got its chuck. I mean... What's the price what, on the, the front the of it? Charger's right in there. Ah, price on it at Wally World from 4626, and that's an old green tag. Yeah, that's you an know, old that's one. years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Man, look at this. There's chucks in there. I mean, nothing too much there. What's inside here, really? Gold. <laughs> Not a little drill nice. set. That looks like metal, looks too. Looks like a full set, right? Yeah, that's, a... yeah, well, it is a full set. Ellie, what we got here? I don't know. I was wondering that. Huh. Ellie, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a junkie. I'm really not a carpenter. I know a little bit. Taylor. I'm going to rope that in on the side. Does it expand? Yeah, I mean, it folds. In like front. a conveyor belt, but being wooden? Maybe it's a walk board? It can't be a walk board. Well, you know what? Maybe maybe somebody knows. Somebody will want one. Maybe Negan knows. Maybe. I'll let him deal with it. Mm. LA! <laughs> you wanna go hunting lions and tigers and bears? Wow. That looks dangerous there. Got a nice little shovel here. Mm -hmm. A little snow shovel, a little, little dirt shovel, a little something. Shovel. Square looks... point shovel. All Very right. nice. Very Ace. nice. You know, they bought that at Ace. So it's probably twenty two ninety five. <laughs> this is cool, though. I don't know what you use <laughs> That's, it for, uh, man. But this it's a little is cool. spooky looking, man. Is it not? Mm hmm Five bucks. I got it at a yard sale. Five bucks. See that? What else we got in here, baby? Hey! Ah, CB radio, man. That's cool. Actually, doesn't look too bad at no, all. No, it Looks don't. Like it's in pretty good shape, dude. Uh, I had a price tag on it, but I don't know what it was. I tell you what, man, you can get 20, 25 bucks for these when they work. Laundry, laundry basket, and it looks like a bag. Pretty hard needs a good cleaning, but what are we getting here, Ellie? Really? Actually, a pretty, pretty hardcore bag, is it not? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, I, bet that bag, I bet that bag wasn't cheap. Hmm. All right, something in here, though. What do we got? Oh. Do some shaving? Mm. You shave your head tonight? No. Well, come on, man. No. I'll tell you what, though, man. I tell you, I think that bag right there, clean it up a little bit. I think we can get 10 bucks out of this thing. Whoa. What's in it? <laughs> Jesus, Joseph and Mary. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of our state, one of our state bugs. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that, 
That old boy come out of that pocket, man, like a rocket. Oh, Lord. Anyway, let's throw this one in the back of the truck. Yeah, yeah for we'll sure. Check it out a little bit longer. A little bit later. <laughs> Did you like that, Al? Not particularly. Oh, my God. I'm having a time <laughs> we're, today, We're, we're going to get I'm our butts kicked. Huh? So we're going to get our butts kicked before it's over with. I know, right? Oh, what else we got? Mm. Yeah, level. A couple bucks. Ooh, vinyl decal, Clemson. Boy, they, that is like hotcakes around here. Clemson's just 45 minutes away from us. Yeah, we get a few bucks for it. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if this thing was $9.95 up the road. Everything's so outrageous. Two bucks for us. Two bucks for us, Ellie. Okay. Got a staple gun, some staples. This thing's brand new in its package. Mm -hmm. yeah, and the container's cool. That's an easy $5 bill. That's an easy $5 bill, Ellie. Yeah. Real cute container. Yeah, Dremel, man. Come on. Hey, it feels like it's in there, too, man. I'll tell you what. This thing ain't even opened. This is a brand new Dremel, Ellie. I might keep that and let it go hey, towards my... Hey, don't talk like that. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> All right, so... Listen, if Allie doesn't confiscate it, <laughs> Dremel tools sell great. They do. brand new in the box, and they're not cheap, dude. Mm -mm. I know for a fact I can get $10 without any question. I probably should start a YouTube uh, auction and get $35 for it like some of these mm -hmm. other boys. I've been telling you to. Yeah. <laughs> Allie, this one's a little heavier. Stuff just keeps coming. <laughs> little mini sledgehammers. Two of them, huh? Yeah. Nice. Pretty happy about it. And let's let's transfer it to this box. I thought you wanted that one to be trash, but okay. Nah, it's all good. We can, doesn't matter. We got plenty of them right there, really. Yep. Look at here. Well, yeah, this whole thing. Look at this. This is going to be full of screws and nails. Nice. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Zip ties. Milwaukee nails. I mean, there's all kinds of loose screws in the bottom. They're brand new. Can mm -hmm. you see them in there? I can. All right, cool. Transfer that. Look at, look. Keep looking, like it. Yeah. I mean, it's full of this wow, stuff. Wow, that looks like some heavy nails there. That's what I'm saying, wow. dude. Yeah. I mean, these things right here, dude. They're a good bit of money. They're ten, ten bucks easy for that box without any question. No, I was thinking twenty. It could be more. I mean, you know, depend. These are nails, but mm -hmm. it's a minimum of ten. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't. You see, again, you got to remember, I'm not always a big retail guy. I always find this stuff. If I need it, I'll find it eventually. Yeah, man, this thing is full of nails and screws. I mean, I don't even know. Let's say, I mean, let's just go with 20 bucks. Say we do five dollars a box. Look at that. That's probably going to be handy to keep. That that there is probably 22.95 up the road, man. That's screws. So I bet it's more than that. Yeah, I wouldn't be a bit surprised. Say you do five dollars a box. You got the little sledgehammers. You got an easy 20, 25 dollar bill in that one box right there. I'm pretty happy about it. Yes, ma'am. I bet you that thing is $44.95 up the alleyway. It's probably more than that. I have no idea. Rid quid. Yeah, that's that's more like a specialty tool, so wouldn't surprise me if it was $99.95. All right. What is that, Ellie? I have no clue. Yeah, it's another specialty tool, man. I don't... I don't know. You guys know what it is? Hmm. Yeah, definitely got the whole clamp thing going on here. Some kind of clamp for something. Certainly specialty. Whatever. We'll figure it out. Um, yeah. Pretty much. Okay, this is... Some of this stuff is... Uh, some of this stuff's old school woodworking tools. That, I want to say, does those uh, tie straps around pallets, pallet strap okay. tool. It may not be. Another specialty piece, though. Tell you what, just right there, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if we make 10 bucks. Some old boy just like it. He don't even want to use it. He just likes it. I've seen him buy it like that. That's old school right there, Ellie. Hmm, cool. Yeah, metal, 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 glass. That is a rarity. Yeah, let's we'll see if she cleans up. 
Probably be a five dollar bill, ten dollar bill on a good day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this thing's kind of heavy duty, man. It's it's heavier than you think. Hmm. Yeah, I mean it's pretty cool, man. I tell you what, I've been looking at it for just a second here off camera, and I feel like it's a twenty-five dollar bill for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nothing too exciting. Looks like we'll load her up and get on down the road to the next one. God, this red light's taking forever. It is, it is terrible. Woodruff Road is the worst road in this entire upstate of South Carolina. Oh, and we're trying to cross over it. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, so that last unit was awesome. <laughs> it, was one, uh, it was one of the better ones we've gotten lately. Now, we've gotten some that are way better than that. But, hey, tools, man, are like, you know, they're as good as gold. They sell so easy. Um, but, but so check this out. Yeah, so, hey, I told you they're rolling in left and right. They're rolling in left and right. It just looks like a bed. I mean, who knows? I don't think there's anything else in there. But it's down in Simpsonville, which is where we're headed after this one right here. We're headed there next. We're going to go meet that old boy down there and, and see if we can get any footage there. But uh, we're going that way anyway, and I think we got plenty of room in the trailer. We, haven't, we certainly haven't filled it up yet. So let's see what this one looks like, and we'll go from there. other junk too I, i'm actually super shocked that it's still here because yeah. uh he said he set it out like not yesterday but i think the day before all right let's check her out it does look nice from here we're gonna we're gonna check her out here get my gloves on and these things dude we're gonna check this out here but these things are like several hundred dollars hmm. I mean, I feel like if it's all good and not all busted up, we're about to look at it. It's going to be an easy $50 bill. It looks good, Ellie. We put a new key in that thing, dude. Yeah, that's a $50 bill, Ellie. Very nice. Look at all that paint. I know, right? You were looking for paint the other day. I am still, so. <laughs> Kids books. Actually, look like they're in pretty good shape. Must not have got any rain over here the last couple of days. Mm, that's a good author, too, for kids. Yep. The Junie B's are good. Negan said he's selling the fire out of some books. He's got some guy that owns a bookstore or whatever that's been in there for like two or three days straight. He's, he's been in there for like two or three days. He spent like $70 the other day. And last I knew, he was in there again digging around some more because we got like thousands of books. All right, what else you we got? You know what this is, Ellie? This is one of those balloons. It's empty, too, so oh. it's pretty much scrap metal. I guess you could get it refilled. But, you know, you blow up balloons with it. Mm -hmm. Helium. I got helium. You want to try some? No. Come on, Ellie. Nope. I mean, you guys know paint's like 15 to $25 a gallon, brand yeah. new. It can be more than that, too, if you get a certain brand. They're not all full. Well, no, but still. <laughs> that one's probably at least half full. I mean, if you get, let's say you get $5 a can, three cans for 10 bucks. Well, we got 12 cans, Ellie. Mm-hmm. So that's 40 bucks. Boom. Yeah, three cans for, for 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. You got four deals, 40 bucks. Very good. All right, let's go meet this old boy in Simpsonville, see what he's got. All righty. All right, so check this out, Ellie Mae. I just did the tour with this old boy. And, man, I'll tell you what. I, I, apparently, I come highly recommended. <laughs> uh, so I got two girls that have they've talked to their manager or whatever. I, I'm, I'm not going to bore you with the whole long story. But the point is, I just did the tour with him. He showed me around. He's got three units in here. We got couches. We got tables. We got beds. It's all big stuff. He actually mentioned that he's got a refrigerator up in Spartanburg. I don't know, man. This could be turning into a good relationship. I'm going to try to get you guys some footage in here. 
I'm not sure. I think he's going to be hanging out in the office. You know, I just don't feel that comfortable just yet uh, doing a lot of recording, you know, but, but we'll certainly try to get some shots at, at the very least. So, so look at this. We're down here on our own. But he, so he told us, he said, you know, get these two couches. So this couch, the two end tables, this big piece of furniture over here, a bunch of this stuff we're leaving behind. I'd love to have that TV, but he, he didn't say take that. Um, but, but anyway, the two couches, two end tables, the tire, and then this big old piece. Oh, yeah. He said take these two boxes of DVDs Cool. right there. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty stoked about that. I see a Wii game in there. It's already in there. Look at this big thing over here, Eric. I don't even know. It's some kind of a... It's upside down. Huh. I mean, it's like brand new. It's some kind of shelving system, display system. It looks heavy as all get out. It does. Anyway, let's let's get it all... Let's get it all loaded up. I'll try to get you some shots outside in the light. It's actually a pretty nice tire, though, Ellie. Mm -hmm. Look at that thing. It's like full tread, man. Yep, I looked at it. I've into some good looks tires good. lately. Mm -hmm. This thing's probably 150 bucks up the road. Looks like... Uh, some more Nikes. These are Jordans. Those look good. <laughs> These are Jordans, man. Size 10. Hmm. We sell our Jordans typically for 10 bucks. We're kind of stupid for doing that because Jordans can be, you know, a hundred and a half easy. Ellie, this table's got two two leaves to it, man. And this nice. thing's pretty good shape, too. I bet this turns into like an eight or nine foot table. You know that? That'd be cool. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, man, that is nice. Yeah, that That's won't last. Shape. I think this is a full size. Let's take a better look at it. It's just a headboard. You never get that much out of headboards. It's kind of cool, though. Check this out. It's real pretty. Isn't that nice? Come on in here, Ellie. We got a full and a queen. I mean, you know, they're not no pillow top beds or whatever. But, but you know what I'm just going to tell you guys? These beds are a whole lot better than sleeping on the floor. Because we've talked about the whole bed thing before. But get in here and take a look. That's a full size. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's clean too, man. Looks, it looks really good. good, yeah. We'll see it better in the sunlight. But uh, this is a queen. These are old school, man. These are older. They're probably from the mid-90s or whatever. Ellie, Ellie, what a hot mess. It's good stuff, though, so I ain't mad. But I tell you, man, the way it went in here, a little challenging out here in this uh, oven. Yeah, take a look in there, man. That that big boy right there, entertainment center, whatever it is. Boy, we should have loaded that first. You should have seen us out here trying to uh, get it in around that couch. Anyway... This is going to be about it for this going to be about it for the trailer. We'll talk about it in the truck for a quick minute, and we're going to go back out tomorrow because you know we got another bed that came in that we're not going to fit, and we got uh, potentially a refrigerator, and I got to go talk to these boys about some door they were saying about the other day. So we'll get to it. All right, what a day, huh? Man, a killer day. Good day. A good day for cleaning out storage units for pure profit yeah i think we did well over 500 dollars. let's just do a little bit of math the red couch i think we can get 75 bucks for it the blue beds call it another 125 on those two uh 50 and 75 whatever you know we sell our stuff cheaper than anybody man that's what that's what it's all about right it's all about volume i've said that at least a few times uh we got the other bed we got uh, uh the other couch we got all them tools uh, we got wheelbarrows, we got tables, that, that one table, man, that pine table, I think I could probably get 50 bucks for that thing alone. I think that's going to be like an eight foot table and there's like no dings, no marks. We'll see, we'll see how good it is by the time we get it in the store. Um, that embossing machine, whatever it is, it, it embosses business cards or, or whatever it does, who cares? It's selling for 275 bucks. Anywhere from a hundred, around, let's call it 200 bucks. Say we get a hundred bucks out of it, we sell it locally, we get a hundred bucks. All right, but I, I mean, you put it on eBay, get whatever, 200 bucks out of it. I mean, I, I don't even know the math at this point. I feel very confident that we're over $500. So 
Today was a good day, if you ask me. And in fact, we still got to go pick up another bed. We still got to go pick up uh, our refrigerator. And who knows what else is going to come in, because today's just the 1st of September. So, all right, guys, you stay tuned. We'll keep picking it up. We'll show you how we do these things, and we'll keep building these relationships. Hopefully, they'll keep calling.